we will learn AutoCAD 2018 by creating this object. Click on start drawing. At first we will set limits. Now here total length is 125. Then here outside diameter is 60. That means 125 plus 30. And plus this 12. That means we will work out this total height. That means it will become 167. We will have to take limits more than 167. We will take it 200, 200. Type limits command. Enter. You will always have to specify load left corner to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Enter. Then upper right corner will be 200, 200. Enter. Now AutoCAD accepted these values, but limit is not applied. To apply the limits, you will have to use zoom all. To give zoom all, use Z, enter, A, enter. Then next will be to set the units. This drawing is in mm. For units, give U, N, enter. Then I will be using decimal. I will keep precision to 4 digit. And angle will be decimal degrees and precision I will keep it 0 as it is. And insertion scale I will use millimeter. Click on OK. Now in this object at first I will create these two circles of 36 and 60 diameter. To create circle using diameter method click on the arrow below the circle and click on center diameter. Give the center point, give the diameter of 36, enter. Then you can repeat the last command by pressing enter, press enter, then give the center point. Then he is asking for radius. You can give here the radius or if you want diameter option, then you can click on this diameter here. And give the diameter to 60, enter. To zoom the object, you have to rotate middle mouse button towards monitor and to zoom minus you have to rotate it towards you. To pan it you will have to press the middle mouse button and drag the mouse. It will pan the screen. Then next will be to create these two circles. Actually we will create this portion and we will mirror it on the opposite side. Now to locate this circle we will need to create this line at 30 degree from this vertical line and the length of this line will be 64. The radius of this arc is 64. Therefore the length of this line will be 64. Click on line. First point will be the center of this circle. Take your cursor on this side then give the length 64. Then to give the angle press tab button on the keyboard. Then you will have to specify angle from this horizontal line up to this line. That means I will have to specify this angle from this horizontal line to this inclined line. Now we know the angle of vertical line is 90 degree and we have to go ahead by 30 degree. That means this total angle will be 90 plus 30 that is 120 degree. So here I will give angle of 120 enter. And to stop the line command, press enter. Then to create these two circles, the radius of the circle is 10 and the dimension of this circle is given here. 4 holes dia 12, that means these 4 holes are of 12 diameter. That is 6 radius, that means I have to create two circle of 10 and 6 radius here. For circle you can also type C, enter. Give the center point, give the radius of 6, enter, then enter, give the center point, give the radius of 10, enter. Now these two circles are created. The next is this circle of 12 radius. It's passing through these two points. That means the intersection point of this line and this circle and this line and this circle. So we can create this circle by using two point method. Click on the arrow below the circle command. Take this two point method. 
give this intersection as first point and this intersection as second point. You can watch that it is showing the diameter of 24. That means the radius of 12. That means this circle is correct. The next will be to create this line tangent to these both circles. For that click on line. To catch the tangent press shift right click and select tangent from here and click on this circle. Again shift right click click on tangent and click on this circle and press enter. So this tangent line is created. The next will be to create this circle of 12 radius. Now this circle is at a gap of 125 from this horizontal line. To locate this point we will create one vertical line and one horizontal line and we will offset it by 125 distance. This is the one method or you can also create a line of 125 length. So you can use any one method. Suppose we will use offset so that we will learn about offset also. We will create one horizontal line. Take the line command. Now I want to create line from this point. This point needs to be located by tracking this center point. So we'll, for tracking we will take our cursor to this end point. This line we have created from the center of the circle. And we will not click there, we will take our cursor away. So it will track that point. Then click, then take your cursor. Now I want straight line. For straight line, you will have to make here from here ortho on. Ortho mode on, click on this. Then give the second point, press escape. Then we will offset this line by 125 distance. Here is the offset command. Click on offset, give the distance of 125, enter, select this line and give the side, we want offset on this side, click there and escape. Then we will need one vertical line to locate the intersection point. For that take the line command, again track the center point, take your cursor above and click and take your cursor below and click and escape. To shift this UCS icon, give UCS icon command, UCS icon, enter and select this no origin. So it will remain on the left side, it will not come in between our screen. Then to create here the circle of 12 radius, this one 12 radius circle. For circle give C, enter Give the center point. Center point will be the intersection of these two lines. And give the radius of 12. Enter. And next will be to create this circle of 54 radius. Now for this circle we have the radius 54. And we know that this circle is touching this circle and this circle. To create circle like this we will have to use 10 10 radius command. Click on the arrow below the circle and select this 10 10 radius. Using this command you can create circle touching two object and of desired radius. Click on 10 10 radius. Now we want to touch this circle. Click on this circle and this circle and give the radius of 54. Enter. This circle is created. Now what we will have to do next will be to remove the unwanted object. To remove the unwanted object you will have to use trim command. Click on trim. Then to define all object as a cutting edge, just press enter. So all object will be defined as a cutting edge. Then click on the object to be removed. I want to remove this circle. Then this internal circle and this circle. And you can zoom here. You will have to remove this portion also. And here this portion is created properly. Then escape. Then we want this same portion on the opposite side. For that we will use mirror command. Click on mirror. Then select this object. This line, this line. Then press enter. 
then give the first point of mirror line so it will be mirror around this vertical line so give any first point of this vertical line i will take this end point and this center point and erase source object no i don't want to erase the source object click on no now next will be to remove this portion for that again we will use the trim command click on trim then to define all object as a cutting edge press enter and then remove the unwanted object and press enter now what is remained is these two circles now this circle is on this arc of 64 radius now we will have to create this arc of 64 radius now for this arc here we have the center point we have the start point and we have the end point so we can use center start end method to create this arc click on arrow below the arc and select this center start end give the center point give the start point we are selecting this point as a start point because by default method arc is created in anti clockwise direction therefore we are taking this point as a start point and not this point as a start so we will click on this point and we will give this point as a end point now this arc is created actually we need this arc outside also so click on this arc click on this blue grip and take it outside now here as the ortho is on therefore it is creating problem we will make it off click on this ortho mode and take it ahead so take care that the radius is remaining as 64 otherwise it will be wrong click again click on this grip and take your cursor outside and click and escape to come out now we need these two circles now these are the diatwell circles so we can copy this circle here and here for that click on copy select this circle enter then he is asking for the base point we want the center point of this circle to be at this point so this center point or this intersection point will be our base point click on it and second point will be this intersection point and this intersection point and press escape to stop the copy command now we will stop here but in the next tutorial we will learn how to apply layers then how to create this dimension and how to create hatch thanks for watching we will stop here